Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Zygbert Taras and Bernard Richter. This game was played in Spain in 1883. Taras had white pieces and he started with c4. Richter played f5, the Dutch defense. d4, e6, knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, b6, bishop to d3, bishop to b7, Taras castle kingside. Black to move. Bishop to d6 was played. Bishop to e7 is a more popular move because when bishop is on d6, he's blocking his own pawn on d7. The game continued. Knight to c3, knight to c6, and now e4 threatening e5. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes pawn on e4. Bishop to e7, admitting that the bishop belongs on e7. White has a slightly better position. But how to continue? There is a safe way to continue with d5 and going for the trot with knight to e5, sacrificing the pawn on d4. How would you continue? Safe or sharp attacking move? Zygbert Taras calculated long and hard and he saw a win with knight to e5. So he didn't play d5. d5 is not a bad move. If d5 attacking the knight, knight to b4, white may play bishop to b1 or knight takes knight and after bishop takes knight, bishop to e4. However, this variation was not exciting enough for Tarash, so he played knight to e5, going for the trot, burning the bridges. Knight takes on d4, knight takes on f6, check, bishop takes knight, queen to h5, check, g6, bishop takes on g6, check, pawn takes bishop, queen takes pawn, check, king to e7, Tarash play with white pieces, so this position in his mind's eye, and he was pleased that everything was going according to his plan. Knight to g4, attacking the bishop, defending, knight takes on f6, queen takes on f6, bishop to g5, and white is winning the queen. Excellent calculations by Tarash. Do you agree? This is as far as Tarash saw when he was calculating this position. He stopped right here, believing that he is winning, but he missed something. But it's not finished yet, is it? How would you continue in this position if you had black pieces? Richter played knight to e2 check, king to h1, black to move. Please pause and find a way to save the queen. Or if you wish, find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Richter played. Rook takes pawn on h2 check. King takes rook, the only move. And now rook to h8 check. Bishop to h6. Black to move and to check mate in one. The move is queen to h4 checkmate. Sometimes things don't go according to the plane, do they? Ever happen to you that your attack didn't work? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.